So uh, find a comfortable place. Um, uh, you can stay seated or you can lay down. Uh, you have to close your eyes, it's better. So you have no external disturbances. Remember to switch your phone off. Uh, and there might be disturbances here, as I said, uh, with some traffic. It's part of a game, I would say. So sometime we might go into a place where there is chaos from yourself going out. Uh, and it will, be, it will express itself through noise outside. So I am in the jungle, but there is a paved road, I repeat. And there are uh, sometimes big trucks. And I realized from my work that when there is some no there are some nodes or tension, it expresses very loudly outside. It's very interesting how the universe is even more responding than before. So this kind of noise, and sometimes it's worse than this. So they just stop in front of my house. That's very interesting. And they're like, Zzzz. anyway. So you're going to set your intention. What do you expect from this uh, healing circle? You see, we're just starting and the noise starts. It's so interesting. It's all about life. When you have disturbance around you, there is something expressing from yourself, something to be seen. And the more you resist, and I resisted it, ah, oh, yes, the more you resist, the more you, you have tension. It becomes horrible. And the less you resist, the more it vanishes quicker. So we So <laughs> lay down uh, or sit and close your eyes, um, set your intentions. Today it's about the heart, expanding and healing the heart. Uh, as I was saying, there might be some external disturbances, the noise, and I noticed that it's linked to our inner noise that it's expressing outside. Uh, so the more we resist, the more it became louder. So it might during this session, uh, we might have again lots of noise. Just stay in your center. That's the message. And keep breathing into it and try to feel what it creates in you and what needs to be seen and what needs to be released. As I said, also, uh, I by chance asked, bought this yesterday. I didn't know I just need a candle and I love Jesus as a prophet, not as a religious man. And it's about the sacred heart of Jesus. So the guys are already with us. Uh, the work started at least since yesterday. So remember to switch your phone off. There might be some silences during this channeling, this healing circle. I might sing. I would say only God knows what's going to happen. Uh, the energy that wants to express itself today is uh, Mother Mary. And all the Neteru, of course, Isis, the Divine Feminine, Athor. But the main energy, which was in, in the picture for this channeling, is the rose and it's Mother Mary. So first we're going to arrive. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's not important. It's all about the energies. So let's arrive in silence and feel our bodies. and connect to your breath. And just focus on your breath.
Breathing in and breathing out. And if you have thoughts, many thoughts, just let them be and always go back to your breath. Also, who is coming is Mother Earth, Gaia, the Earth, the energy. The entity, the earth, is here. And she says she wants to be part of his trinity. So earth, our hearts, Mary, Christ consciousness. All inside the great pyramid, with an eteru, all in the pyramid and around. And inside the pyramid, Buddha. And they say it's all about finding peace in our hearts. And now visualize that your breath is like the movement of a sea, like a wave. And each inhale, the wave is rolling, is creating, and exhale, it's rolling to the sand, to the beach. And also you can perhaps feel the movement in your body. Inhale, you build it. Exhale, you release. Well, let's welcome these energies, the earth, Mother Mary, Jesus, the rose, the water element, Isis, Mat. So during this session, if you want to move, go to the toilet, drink, do whatever feels right for you. There is no obligation to stay, stand still. Don't resist what is happening in yourself. Don't resist the emotions. Healing the heart can be painful, like giving birth. Let the pain be. Breathe into it. And if you feel it's too much, visualize yourself connecting to earth by having roots in your feet going down to the core of the earth and or by being sitting like Buddha inside the great pyramid in Giza. So while I'm talking, the energies are coming into us. And I'm going to either describe or talk. They will talk through me. And now there's a huge bright light coming from the heavens, from the sky, the universe, like a pillar of white light coming on us. And it's Connect directly to our heart, heart chakra, which is in our chest area. And the love of Mother Mary, of Mary, is pouring on us. And I repeat, this is not religious. Mother Mary is an energy like we all are. She is the expression of pure love, divine love, the mother love. So she's sending us right now her, her love in our heart chakra.
and she's standing in front of us, of each one of us right now. So while this pillar of white light is going from the heavens into us, she's standing in front of us. And if you feel so, she's asking to look into her eyes. or to feel her energy looking, her looking into your eyes. And she wants you to see yourself the way she, she, she sees you. She's saying, look how pure you are. Look how delicate you are. You are a flower but on, not only the flower, each element of a flower, the petal, look how divine and how refined is a petal. All the details, all this purity, all this love. Feel it, this is who you are, a pure innocent being, pure innocent heart. Forgive yourself, forgive others, but beyond all, forgive yourself for being who you are. Let go of any fight, any struggle. Embrace your purity, embrace your light, embrace your love. And let this self-love, this recognition of who you are spread in all your body, in all your cells. And she's holding in her hands the heart of Christ, of Christ, and she's giving it to you in front of your chest. And if you want to, to, she can put it in your heart. So you met with Christ's energy, which is your energy, which is the source, which is love. And it's going to heal wounded, your wounded parts, the wounded part of your heart. It's a very red, dark, beautiful red heart with the energy of Christ inside, the energy of love, the energy of Buddha, the energy of Athor. And you can agree and take it with your hands from the hands of Mary and put it into your heart chakra and stay with it. And if you don't want, no worries. You can still feel the energies of Mother Mary, of Mary. She says, I'm not only a mother. This is the tradition, the traditional depiction of who I am, but I am more. I am. I am the expression of a divine feminine in all its power, the pure creativity from earth to heavens through you. I am creativity. I am power. I am not a virgin. I am not a victim. I am creativity, expression of divinity on earth. I am you, you are me. Mm. 
like this truck who drove by, let the problems drove by you and go away, fade away. They might stay longer, but they will go away. There is only one way. They cannot go backwards. They only go forward. This is the movement of life going forward. The mind can go backwards. The truth can only go forward. The truth is now and now cannot go backward. No, can not either go forward, but at least it cannot go backward. And forward is successions of now, nows. And this is why I said that your heart can only expand in the now. I am the create, creation, the origin, the point from, what, from which all starts. The beam of light, the source of light. I give you the power to create, the power to shine who you are. Feel it in your heart now. I am back. And you are all going to be back in your full presence, in your full power, with healed hearts, with acceptance, deepest acceptance of who you are. And now it's like there's a, a rain of rose petals and flower petals just from the sky, from heavens, just falling on us. And it's, you can feel all the petals on your body and how it heals all the damages you have had in all your lives on earth and elsewhere, Tambien also. <laughs> it's like a bath, a purification bath of with flower petals, rose petals, and it's a very soft rose, pale rose, delicate, very nurturing, very soothing. And while we are receiving this song, you can visualize we are laying on earth, on the grass, which is very green, like heaven. And there's water, a source running on the left. A very pure, clear water. The sky is blue, yet all these petals are pouring on us, on you, on each one of us. So feel the earth on your back, uh, on all your back body, body. Feel the soil, feel the grass. <sighs> feel how grounded you are and how connected you are to the earth element, to nature. So now we are laying down. And we can see also through these petals or behind these petals, the sun. It's like in a cartoon, it's a very yellow round sun with a rays. And it's so full of love and so pure. And we are asked to breathe through our hearts like the heart is a lung. So it inhale your heart in your heart chakra expands. And also your physical heart if you feel so. 
and it's Excel, it's empty. And let go of all that doesn't serve you anymore. And she's saying, let go back to the origin when you were born on earth. And I'm gonna stay in silence a few seconds now for, to receive this energy of connecting when we were born. So focus on your heart. Mm. Just feel it. You might have visions, memories of when you were hurt. Welcome them and put them in a circle all around you, like you're laying down on the grass. And you can see with your eyes a circle of all your problems, all these people who hurt you, a situation. And it's a circle and it's very far from you, yet you, you're all like registering it. But it's out of you now, one after one. And some angels are playing with some of you, little cherubins, seraphims, just with wings, little ones like fairies too. And they're just taking some of your problems. Oops, microphone. <laughs> they're taking some of your problems and they're just putting them in higher places so they are easier to see and to be seen now. They're playing. There's also some angels who work with Archangel Michael and who are cutting wires. It's like they are wires cut with these problems that are connected to your heart. You know, like when you fish this wire with a hook, yeah? And they're just cutting. And some which are more feminine energy are taking the hook off of your heart and putting some white light to heal. and putting the hook into heaven. If you need, you can, I'm now touching part of my body where there's been hooks and that it's painful. It's just spontaneously, you can do it if you feel so too. Whatever is offered to you, it's your own experience through these energies, the energies of Mary. and of earth and of all the angels. So let's stay in silence for a few seconds while all this is happening. And if you see some faces of people who are still hurting you, you are asked to forgive them and to love them. And you can ask the angels to help you uplift your vision. And you're gonna see their faces transmute into a more light faces. It's like they are, it's a movie screen and there are some pictures of them which are on black and white and they're raising up for the ones who are too painful to see or create strong emotion in you. 
and they are put up into the light. Like in an elevator, they sing, and it's the angels with their wings who make them go up. And you can see them up then with full of light, like a, a small picture, a square, and they're pushed up for the ones who are holding you very down too much, the ones who have too much lower vibration in themselves. And still the little angels, they're very small. Uh, they're cutting the cords and repairing and playing around. It's a very butterfly energy. It's butterfly angel, fairy angel, they are angel of the earth. And yet working for Archangel Michael and for Mother Mary. Mother Mary is saying she's also linked part of the energy of earth. You can feel some strong emotions in your solar plexus or in your belly for some of you. Breathe into it and ask Mother Mary, she can come and put her hands on your belly or whatever part of your body which is resisting this ascension because of two strong memories. <sighs> and her hands are full of white light and when she puts her hands on you, you can feel the relief and how she's holding your problems and kind of taking them out gently, dissolving them. All these memories, this, I would say dead energies, but it's not dead, is they say with absence of light. So they're stuck energies. And the energy of Mary give them movement and so that at one stage they can raise again and go to the light and be released. And it can happen in a second or minutes or whatever is needed. Trust the process. Again, silence and they say, listen to the music of the angels right now. Listen to their song of love. And they are working at all levels, Microcos microcosmic, yeah, very, very small, like an atom level, all unwiring and creating, reconnecting all the light, recreating the connection of light between your cells. Oh, yes, and clearing, switching the light off, on, they're saying, the small lights, it starts from small, you have to start from details. Even a small detail can make your life hell. And they're laughing <laughs> because they made a rhyme and they're very happy. <laughs> Even a small detail can make your life hell, especially a small detail, detail can make your life hell. <laughs> Now there are bees all around you. They're saying the bees are going back to, your, to the queen, you, which you can be a man or a woman. It's the essence of the queen, the king, your own true self, your own power.
And they say the king of a queen. And it's the angels talking. No, what is right by listening to all their workers, by listening to their family, the family of all the bees. I don't know the name in English, they're showing me where they, all the bees are together. La Ruche in French. Beehive, I think. So if you want to know if the decision is right, connect to your heart and listen to all your workers, all these beings who are at your service, which are the elements, nature, other human beings, all the signs, and you will know. It's a community work. As soon and as long as you nurture your home, your altar, as a king, as a queen, You will attract all your workers, all the beings who wants to serve you. They will recognize your light. And you will know through them, by watching them, by listening to them, that by hearing, observing what is right to do. It all starts from your heart. And they say, let's go back to the hearth. And Mother Mary is coming back in presence. She's still here, but she's coming back into our consciousness now. Mary, she says, stop calling me mother. <laughs> I am the creation. I am. Mm. And she's saying, now stand, stand straight. So we, are, we were visualizing ourselves laying down on the soul and not just saying stand, stand up and feel your power and feel how your heart is lighter and keep breathing into your heart. The only way to heal your heart is to breathe into it. You keep forgetting. You are disconnecting from it. You are considering it's an organ or it's a chakra but you're not consciously in it, breathing into it. Your breath is your strength. Your breath is your power, breathe into it. By breathing into it, you, you put your own consciousness, your presence, you feed it. Your heart needs to breathe. It is not something put in a drawer and used only when you want to use it. It is not a concept. So it's another energy coming now. Which is more, has more strength. Okay, so it is the energy of Mary Magdalene and Isis, which are identical, the same. It's more linked to the body. It has the power of a laser beam. 
also Ma'at, so it's the three. Isis, Mary Magdalene, Ma'at. Phew. So they're all in front of us and behind us is Jesus and Anubis and Osiris. So three and three, six, and us in the middle, seven. And they're saying this free expression of the divine feminine, of the divine power that they are giving us right now the determination, the courage, the strength, and the vision. So we started from the purity of Mary, they say, and now we are here as a human being with a mission and we will accomplish it no matter what. That's the energy. And behind us, these three male avatars, masculine, are holding us so we don't fall back fell, fall back. We have Mother Mary on the top of our head blessing us and still connected to our heart. And we have earth under our feet. We're standing up visually. We can visualize ourselves standing still straight up in the grass in this beautiful field with the river on the left, the sky. For some, the petals, rose petals can still continue to fall on us. But now they say, and now behind all is Sehmet, the lioness goddess, and they're pushing us to just walk, knowing that we are protected. We have these hearts, we have this breathing with the heart, but we are protected. We are strong. It's more being strong than being protected. We don't need protection. Breathing in the heart creates a field of protection around us. So while all this is happening energetically, remember your breath, the breath in your heart. To breathe in your heart. And it's like the rose now, our heart is a rose and it's a red rose with Mother Mary, with Mary, it was a pale rose, delicate rose. Now it's the, a red, very powerful, shining rose. And it's a vision. So Isis is giving us an indigo blue ray of light through our eyes. So we have vision and also a third eye. You can always not want and say no in yourself. You will receive only what is good for you right now in your path. So it's all about colors. Isis now is standing in the middle of this triangle in front of us with these three female feminine avatars. And she's spreading her wings and looking at us and sending this indigo blue in our eyes and in our third chakra, just let's receive it. And still breathing in our hearts.
A bee just made an apparition and just stand in front of my eyes. Very interesting. So all the elements are working with us. Sure. And they ask us to end this circle with this energy. Today. I listen to the bee if you can hear her. She's creating connection for your future from now. So behind you, Jesus is putting both of his hands on your shoulder blades and blessing you and taking all your fears out, fears from the past, all the memories that are stuck in the shoulder blades. And he has big hands and he's healing it right now. Healing all this in you. Mother Mary is still breathing with you in your heart chakra. Osiris behind on your left. And you be behind on your right. Are giving you that direction and showing you the ways on left and right in your life. And this is the jackal god, ancient Egyptian god, who is a, a shamanic guide, a spiritual guide, the guide from one world to another world. And is with your right hand, and on your left is Osiris, which is the God of death, which is the God of renewal and always renewing yourself and always going deep into the underworld and to rise, rise again as Horus, the focus, the falcon, the falcon God, who was the God, the God of the pharaohs, who had the vision and the clarity and the determination. So with Osiris, you keep going down deep into the horrors of life, the horrible people, the horrible situation, the tough moments, and you raise, you rise up with him. He's always with you, always on your left side, emotional side. And behind Jesus is holding all this, the Christ consciousness, the source. Giving you his determination. He always walked one foot after another, he's saying, always. The only time he stopped was to ask God, the divine, to see, to reflect. But he would never go backward. He nev would never go on the side. He would go in his direction. And his, his hands on your shoulder blades, in fact, are at the level of your heart chakra. That's what he's telling me now. Oh, so feel his love, feel his light, feel his presence with you always. Know that you're not alone. Know that all that you're doing is approved and they're laughing, all the guides, as it doesn't need approval, but if you want to know that you, it's approved, it is, in case you're doubting. That like the king or the queen of your behave, of your wish where all the bees are. You need to really center and listen in yourself. And then from this heart that is shining, listen to all your workers, all the beings, all the different energies that are working for you and listen to them before taking a decision or making a move. Yet there is still the movement from Jesus behind, which is inside, but it's behind, it's pushing you. You cannot go back. You have this strength. At least the worst he's saying is staying still. 
And it's also, he's saying, linked to Metatron, which, which is an archangel with huge structure and power, very vertical. This is the verticality Jesus has given you. Oh. And in front of you, always from your heart, you're breathing from your heart, the wings of Isis are clearing the way. She's giving you a vision. Sehmet is running around like a lioness and protecting everything, chasing out any intruder. And she's smiling, <laughs> lots of work, she's saying, and frightening them. She's saying they're very scared very quickly. As soon as she just, wow, they just, they just go away. But she's clearing the path, she's clearing. Isis is giving you the clarity, the vision. Sehmet, which is the lioness goddess, is clearing the field, the battlefield of life. And Athor is bringing you now, she wants to finish with this. She wants to finish the healing circle and she wants to give you this offering. For those who know, you can visualize yourself being in Dendera temple, her temple in Egypt. And if you don't know it, just let your imagination, intuition show you where you want to be. But it's a place of a lot of joy, celebration, dance, music, very good food, healthy food, abundance. And the joy of being, of celebrating life, the sacred life. And she's giving you all this right now. So she's the cow goddess. And she's giving you all this in your heart, but in all your cells. And she's saying it's like you are, she's putting you in a sarcophagus with this new you shining from your heart, who is now pure and is the heart of Jesus, the sacred heart of Christ consciousness, of love, the source. And now, the sarcophagus you are in is full of all these hieroglyphs, full of gold and lapis lazuli and turquoise, all these colors. It's beautiful and it's a golden coffin sarcophagus. And now she's opening it and you have all the priests and priestesses of Athor who are celebrating around you. And you are standing up out of your sarcophagus and all in white with this white light and you are shining from your heart and they are all celebrating your birth right now. And let's finish first in silence and after you can join me in three ohms, but first in silence to continue to receive the last energies. You might have some guides who show up to you and give you messages or have vision. Don't worry, you will remember them or if you feel like writing them down now, do it. But it's time now before we come back here to gather all the information you need if you want so. Also green light and more green all around you. I feel all this love in you and around you right now. Like you are new, renewed, and back into your heart, back into how you love life, how you love yourself, how you have hope and how you trust life. Feel so you can stay with the energy of Athor today and all other beings. But Athor is really offering herself and Sehmet too, and all the angels. They all want to be part of you, your life today and all the time. <laughs>
So when you feel ready, I invite you to sit down. You can keep your eyes closed. Gently sit down if you were laying down. And be ready to sing with me three ohms to close and to celebrate life. And Mother Earth wants to be reminded to beyond all. So we're going to inhale deeply all together. Oh. It's a way of saying thank you to all these beings. This was a song from Mary Magdalene. Amen. Oh, so we're going to gently first stay in silence. <laughs> can come back gently, roll your shoulders, move your fingers, your wrists, your ankles, open your eyes, breathe in deeply, exhale, another time breathing deeply, exhale, and I'm going to give thanks to Mary, in the name of all of us, thanks to Jesus to Christ consciousness, thanks to all the angels, all the fairies, all the be beings who help us physically and at all levels today, the elements of nature, thanks to Mother Earth, to Gaia, to Earth, thanks to the bees. There were also the holy monkeys who appeared in the sun for me, I don't know if you heard them, but also energetically in a circle. They were here to give her us or strengths like whoa, very strong and the kind of joy in life this power and joy and they say that if you have seen them they're very small in fact but they have a sound they can 
sound sing in all the jungle and you think they are gorillas and this is who you are they say don't under underestimate yourself be like us people don't don't need to see if you feel small just sing out loud your light and who you are i give thanks to isis to Athor, to sermet to Mary Magdalene, to Anubis, to Osiris. They were all there to Thot, to Maat, to the Great Pyramid in Giza, to all the ancient Egyptians, to the Temple of Dandera, to the High Priestess and Priestesses, to the gift of earth food, to the animals, to the sea, to the waves, to the sun, to the grass, to the sky, and to all the colors. The white light, the rose, the petal of a rose, the color rose, the red, the blue, indigo blue, the green, emerald green, and to all the sounds of life, all my blessings. Thank you. And remember to drink water and to take a few time, few minutes, not doing anything after this. Thank you. <laughs>